The real Hoover, like most Americans, I regret to say, really lived in the media. He was most meticulous for 14 years in helping to produce a smash TV program called the FBI. He inspected Inspector Erskine. He wanted his agents to look like Inspector Her Erskine. Hoover was an anti-Semite. Inspector Erskine was played by a Jew, Ephraim Zimbalist. And that was simply another contradiction in the life of John Edgar Hoover. He asked that FBI agents cut their hair like Ephraim Zimbalist. He went over every script. It meant more to him than any case he ever worked on. It was more valuable than any case because week after week after week for 14 years, that program played and played and played. The director was very partial to two comic strips. One was Dick Tracy, and the other was Secret Agent X-9. Hoover was cruel. There were two blacks who worked for the FBI, example, for example. One was Sam Noisette. When there was a big row about no black agents, Noisette, who was really Nixon, uh, was Hoover's porter, servant, call him what you will. Hoover had Noisette dressed up in a beautiful suit, tailored suit, and he invited the press in and Noisette sat there and was introduced as Special Agent Noisette of the FBI. This was called conforming to the demand that black people have a chance in the FBI. Hoover was the master of deceit, of course.